Hey guys, welcome to my 23 week bump date. Uh, this week I have been feeling pretty tired and I guess some bursts of energy. Um, I randomly came home and felt like cooking up a storm and I guess that was where my energy came from. So I used it up on cooking of most things. But I have been feeling pretty tired um, and my feet are, I guess, starting to kind of, I guess, swell in a way. I feel, I guess, like the pressure in my feet and my back hurting, especially at night whenever I'm laying down, my back starts hurting um, and I have to get into a comfortable spot and stay there for a little while, um, I guess, to get some sleep. Um, I have been finding myself sleeping on my back, which I know was not good, but I do find myself on my back and I roll back over to my side and that might be where I guess my back pain's coming from um, just because I'm on my back and I know it's not good, there's all that weight on, on me. So um, I have been trying my best to sleep on my sides um, just as much as I can. Um, other than that, as far as, um, I guess, weight gain goes for this week, I probably gained, what, another pound, so I'd probably say total at 11 pounds total. Um, we'll find out tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so we'll find out for sure how much weight I've gained. The last time we checked, I was probably total 10 pounds, so it's been a week, so I'd probably say, or two, so I'd probably say another pound or two, so um, we'll find out for sure tomorrow. As far as my cravings, um, it's been quite a bit of things I guess I've been wanting. Pineapple and watermelon have been one of my things um, recently that I've been wanting. As well as still Dairy Queen. I want Dairy Queen strawberry sundaes and it's only Dairy Queen. I can't have a sundae from anywhere else. I just want Dairy Queen's ice cream and hash browns. I know it's random but when I, I saw a couple of clients eating hash browns at work and I want a hash brown. So I think that's about all I've been craving. Um, I guess those things, just the majority, I guess, I, ice cream. Um, as you can tell, Lexi's all over me right now. Um, she's been like that this past week. I noticed this whole week she's been so clingy. She's right now sitting at my feet. Um, she follows me everywhere I go. When I lay down on the couch, she's right up by my face, has to be right by me. Um, I can have my feet on the coffee table and she tries to like, get on top of my legs by my belly. She'll sometimes put her head on my stomach, so she's just wanting to be close with me. I'm sure she's starting to sense what's going on. Um, so I'm trying to give her all the attention right now. And she's been really good. We've actually been letting her sleep in her bed. So I guess this and sleep next, I guess, kind of close to me. So it's been good that way so far. Um, but she doesn't, I guess, really want anything to do with Ryan right now. She only listened to him, but she doesn't want to be around him. So, um, so it's starting to get really close to Caleb getting here now. Um, I guess I think I've mentioned to you guys that um, he will be here, I guess, sometime in January since I'll be getting induced and um, we're not going to go past 37 weeks. So that will put us sometime in January. I'd probably say the third week um, or the end of January. Um, so now we're just getting close to, I guess, getting his stuff together. We need to go and get some stuff for him and Ryan, I guess, is going to put his crib up soon. and. I guess get other little things that we need for him um, and before I go I think that's it for the week um, I'll let you know next one or next sorry next Thursday how our doctor's appointment goes hopefully it should be a quick visit like it usually is um, I, oh I take my glucose test how did I forget I take my glucose test tomorrow so we'll be there for a while let's hope I pass it because um, I do not want to sit there for three hours and take a three hour glucose test or have to cut off sugar because Lord knows I'd go crazy without some ice cream or some Reese's or something. So I hope I pass that um, tomorrow and we're going to try to get some clips of me uh, at the doctor's office taking um, 
I guess, the drink. We'll see how that goes as well. I'm Last time I took it with Isabella, it wasn't that bad at all. It just tastes like orange crush to me. So let's hope I get the orange one again and it shouldn't be too bad. So we'll let you know those results um, as well as hopefully show you some clips in our next video for 24 weeks. And before I go, I want to show you my bump. So today I just received this shirt. Um, since I guess my due date technically is kind of changing. So this shirt is appropriate, but my dad and my sister sent me this shirt and it's perfect. Um, describes exactly <laughs> what's going on and I love it. Um, I probably misjudged my size, but I think the texture of the shirt is a little different. So I'm gonna wash it and stuff and then see how it fits afterwards. But it'll work um, for a few months, I'm sure, for the rest of the time being, hopefully. And I'm sure the next time I wear this when I'm a lot bigger, it's going to be all stretched out a lot more. But I love this shirt. It just fits. So this is the front of my bump. My loading bump. <laughs> Side. I have Lexi watching me. <laughs> That is it for this week. We will see you again for our 24 week bump date next week. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, leave a comment below and let us know what you think about this video as well as my new shirt. And <laughs> Ryan's making a face in the back. And don't forget to check out um, my blog if you haven't already. I've been trying to keep up with my bump dates there as well as I'm thinking about starting to put up um, other posts. Um, I guess like maybe our weekends and pictures that we took, this way you guys can see. Um, as well as there will probably be pictures of me and my stomach in there. So it will just kind of be in a little more going in there. So we'll see you next week for our 24 week bump date as well as glucose test results. Bye!